Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with a super exciting video. I am doing a makeup tutorial and I'm featuring two products from Kaylee Cosmetics. I adore both of these. This bronzing and blush duo is like my new favorite product. It's what I currently have on and I, I'm just so obsessed with it. I can't wait for you guys to see what it looks like on the skin, how it applies and everything. But I'm also excited for this video because it's the first video that I'm filming on my brand new camera. I finally bought myself a camera specifically for YouTube. I tried to figure out autofocus and tracking on my Fuji X-T2, which is what I use for all my content shooting it, but I just could not figure it out to save the life of me, so I went ahead and bought myself a new camera. So I hope that the video quality and the overall experience is a lot better than my previous videos. But without too much rambling, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see how I see this makeup look, then keep watching. Alright, so I'm starting off with my Sheer Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 45 from PCA Skin. I received this in a PR campaign for Skin Store and I love this because it has a little bit of a color tint to it you can say, but it honestly doesn't really show. The biggest thing for me with this, it just blurs everything on your skin. So any redness you have, it will dilute, which I have some redness from acne scarring. And it just does an amazing job at evening out your skin tone. Plus it has SPF 45, so it's awesome for the summer, which I mean you should be wearing sunscreen year round. Um, but it... yes, harps. You might hear my dog crying because she begs to go outside every five minutes. But yeah, so this has SPF 45, so it's amazing if you want a little bit of something on your face before going to the beach. So I am just not a foundation person. I don't like the feel of it on my skin, especially when it's so unbelievably hot. I think it's like in the upper 90s all this week. So foundation is just not for me. Even tinted moisturizer sometimes, it's a little bit too greasy feeling. Um, and I like the look of my skin showing and it looking like skin. So I just don't really worry about foundation. But I do go in and I spot conceal anything. I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade Sand. This is a little bit too late for me, but I somehow make it work. So I need my mirror. So I just apply this a tiny, tiny bit underneath my eyes to just add some brightness. But if I have any spots on my face, which I do, because I just got done with it being time in the month, I'm going to just put a little bit on those spots. I like to get, oh, that's a lot, go in over my mustache because I feel like it's a weird shadow and in photographs sometimes it shows. And then just in the center of my forehead. So I'm going to apply just a little bit extra right here because I am going to be taking photographs later today outside and it's so unbelievably hot. I need something to just kind of double down on hiding my redness. So I'm gonna take my Eco Tools Precision Foundation Brush. I've had this for ages. I don't remember the last time I bought new makeup brushes because I don't wear makeup enough to make me just continue to grow my collection. So I like to use this to just blend it out. It makes it so seamless and it's also so fast. So I like to do a combination of kind of pressing it into my skin, but also buffing it out. I also don't really care if my blemishes do poke through a bit because it's skin, you know, and acne, pimples, they're normal. So I don't really worry too much about covering them up. Especially on an everyday basis. This is just like my makeup for when I'm wanting to feel a little bit nicer and when I'm shooting for Instagram if I have anything that really bothers me face tune that honestly just smooth it patch it up and pretend like you never had a pimple so easy it's so funny looking back at the way I used to do my makeup it was like full-on Instagram and now I'm just really loving having my skin show because I'm so much more into skincare and keeping my skin nice and healthy. So now that I have a nice base on, 
I'm going to go in with contouring this little duo right here from Kaylee Cosmetics I'm so obsessed with. So you have a bronzing blush duo and it's actually a cream product, which I was terrified of because I haven't used a cream product since high school. I had very oily skin, I had a lot of hormonal acne in my cheeks, and when you're applying a cream product onto the area where you have acne, I just found that it would slip and slide. Plus back then, the formulas of cream products just weren't as amazing as they are today. So I was a little bit scared to try this, but I am so obsessed with it, and you'll see why in a minute. So the bronzer is this beautiful color right here. Both have like a golden pearlescent to it, which at first, again, kind of scared me because I was afraid of it kind of looking too shimmery, but it's not actual shimmer. It's more like a pearlescent, so it makes your skin look like you're completely glowing and like you just came off from a seven day vacation on an island. So I'm just gonna take my finger and melt the product. You can see how beautiful that is. So I'm going to take this. Right here where I normally apply my bronzer. I've been watching so many of those like Bella Hadid, Kendall Jenner videos and like having your face all snatched. So I've been applying my bronzer a little bit higher and I think it looks very nice on me. So I'm just continuing with that. But I'm just going to apply it my finger and then I'm also going to go underneath my jaw because that needs some contouring right there. I'm going in with the Real Techniques buffing brush. I love this thing and I'm just going to buff everything out. This brush is amazing at multiple uses. I buff my bronzer out with this, I buff my blush out with this, anything that looks a bit cakey, I'll use this to thin out. And overall, I think it's like one of the must-have brushes in everyone's collection. So I'm just going to very lightly buff everything out and you can see how easily it just blends into the skin and how pretty the color is. And also just how natural it looks. It doesn't look too dark. It doesn't look too shimmery. It's just a very pretty bronzer shade. So I think we're just going to deepen that up a tiny, tiny bit. And just focus it. Harper, why are you crying, baby? All right, so that's one side of my face. I'm going to do the same on the left side of my face. I don't know why I think about my directions right there. That's a problem. All right guys, I'm back. My camera had died. So I am done with bronzing my face. I'm going to go in and contour my nose because it's so small and so flat. It oftentimes just gets lost in the sauce. And especially if I'm taking photos, it just doesn't stand out enough. So what I use is actually an eyeshadow from Buxom. So this is like a customizable palette. I think I picked this up at Ulta when I was junior, senior in high school, so it's pretty old. But this is the shadow right here that I use. I have no clue the shade name. I can try to find it and put it in the description, but it's the only shade I find works for contouring my nose. And it works for me year round, which is why I love it because I don't need to worry about having a shade for when I'm pale and a shade for when I'm tan. It's just a really nice ashy, taupey brown color and I've had some really horrible nightmares when it comes to nose contouring. I have had times where it looks like I have two brown streaks on my nose, other times when it looks so orangey. So when I was in high school and I found this shade and found that it works for me, I've always just stuck with it. and. I really just can't get away from it. So I just use a fluffy brush from Beach Cosmetics. This thing is so incredibly old. And then I like to go in with a fluffier, softer brush. This is from Eco Tools again. It's a fine crease brush. And I just go ahead and fluff that out to make sure it's blended in my skin. And you can't tell that I've contoured my nose. 
So what I'll do is I'll go back in with that same brush. Sorry the sun keeps going in and out. It's being annoying today. I'm going to go right here. I don't know what this is called, but right there. And then underneath my lips to kind of give the appearance of bigger lips. Awesome. So after that, I'm going to go in with the blush shade from the Duo. And it's this gorgeous pink with a little bit of a peach undertone. And again, has like the gold pearlescent finish to it. I am all for a blush moment. I, in the past year, I've come to just really love blush. And especially on my face, I used to hate it. But I, now I'm so obsessed with it. I don't know why. I guess it just makes you look so much more youthful. It makes you look like you've been out in the sun for a while and I love that look for some reason. I just love that kind of like sun-kissed look. So I just picked up my finger and I'm going to begin to just pat it on the apples of my cheeks here. And I like to really build this up because I love a good blush moment, like I said. So I'm just going to work that into my skin. I like to use like thin layers when it comes to this instead of just, you know, putting it all on and then blending out. I find that working in thin layers is the best method, at least for my skin. My lips are so dry. I need to take care of that. So I'm just going to keep patting it in my skin. I am so in love with this color. I always use from Bare Minerals the Bounce and Blur blush, which I am always mixing the shades Blurred Buff and what's the peachy coral color called? I forget, but I'm always blending those together and kind of mixing them on my face and it creates like this exact same color so it's really cool that I now have a cream blush that's exactly the color I love during the summer. So I'm going to just keep blending and see how it blends in the skin just so nicely and effortlessly. Like I don't need to sit here and keep blending it out and worry about it being streaky or losing color anywhere. It's taking off foundation, which I don't have on, but taking off my concealer and my bronzer. I don't need to worry about that. Um, I'm going to just pat a little bit on my nose and then above my eyebrows to just kind of create more of a unified look on my face. And it's also where I get sun naturally so it's going to just make it look more like a natural flush and then again going in with my real techniques buffing brush right um, <laughs> I forgot the name of it I'm just going to very lightly buff out the edges so then it kind of looks like it's just melting into my skin Urgh, I forgot my highlighter so I forgot my normal highlighter, it's upstairs, and I don't feel like going all the way up there, so I'm just gonna use my Becca highlighter. This is in the shade Opal. This is disgustingly old, and it just sits in my makeup bag because it's like my backup highlighter. I normally use, it's called a Glow Elixir from Revive, and it's like an oil highlight. It's a very beautiful product, but because it's all the way upstairs, I don't feel like going up there. I'm just going to use this and it's actually crushed. I dropped it like probably a good three years, two years ago, two years ago. Um, so I, I I just keep using it and it just stays my bag. So I'm going in with my Eco Tools controlled setting brush and I'm just going to very lightly take only a tiny bit of product and I'm putting this on my nose. The Cupid Spell. And a little bit just right on the very high point of my cheekbones, like pretty much in this whole section. Brow bone. And I only like to put a little bit on, especially with this blush and bronzing duo, because it is very glowing and dewy already. I don't want to over highlight and make my skin look a little bit too too shiny 
paper. See, that's pretty good right there. So after highlighting, I'm pretty much done my face base makeup here. I'm going to go in with Benefit's Gimme Brow. This is, it looks so bad. All the packaging just wore off in my makeup bag. But I really just enjoy, the sun is bothering the crap out of me. Um, I really just enjoy having natural eyebrows. I used to fill them in a lot, but I just like to use a little bit of Gimme Brow to add some color and definition to my eyebrows, but also fluff them up because I wish I had fluffier eyebrows, and this kind of gives me the appearance of that. I used to always use Glossier's Boy Brow, but I just found it wasn't as accessible as compared to Benefit, which is everywhere. It's in every Ulta and Sephora, which here, there's so many Ultas, so makes sense to just stick with benefits. Give me brow. By the way, this shade is number six, I believe. It's like the dark brown black color and I find that works perfectly for my eyebrows. So after the eyebrows, I'm going to do my eyes. So I'm not a big eyeshadow person. I used to. I used to wear a smoky eye in high school and in college freaking weird. I know. I was that one girl. Um, but I just stopped worrying about my eyeshadow, especially when I obviously stopped wearing makeup every day. So I haven't really been practicing that particular skill, and I feel like I have definitely lost the ability to do a smoky eye. But I have also just really been loving the look of just one shade all over the eyelid. I think it's very pretty. It's a very simple. And it just gives your eye a little bit something else. So I'm gonna go in with the bronzer shade from this palette or this duo. And again, just using my finger. I like to use my finger when it comes to cream products. I find that they just melt into the skin and blend a lot easier than using a sponge or a brush. I also don't have any sponges because I, I don't like them. Um, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of my finger and I'm going to apply this onto my eyelid and I'm also going to blend this up in my crease a bit I don't have much of a crease but where I imagine my crease would be I'm going to blend it up into that so I'm just going to apply a little bit more to intensify that and I'm going to kind of do like a whole gradient. So I'm going to do one thin layer all over, bring that up in my crease, do one a little bit darker all over my eyelid, and then do one of the darkest closer to my line right here. My eyeliner, what is that called? Oh my God, I'm blanking. Close to where I would do my eyeliner, my lash line. God, Alicia. Um, and this kind of creates like a gradient effect and adds a little bit of depth to your eye and it's also just an easy way to play around with just one shade and what I keep doing is on the end I'm just kind of swiping that up so then it doesn't come like all the way out okay so that is one eye done and I love multi-purpose products like this you can even use a blush on your eyelids. I think that'd be a very pretty look. The formula is so light and creamy and forgiving. So if you do get it somewhere where you don't want it, you can just easily take a tissue and wipe it off. So you can always take a little bit underneath your eye as well to kind of create that smoky effect. Cool. So that is my eyeshadow. Um, and next would be mascara, and I'm crazy when it comes to my mascara and the whole process of curling my eyelashes. I used to wear falsies every day, and then I used to get eyelash extensions. So I'm pretty insane with my eyelashes. I like them to be long. I like them to be thick and seen. Um, but I just stopped wearing eyelashes when I stopped wearing makeup again my life kind of changed and my whole philosophy on makeup changed but I used two different eyelash curlers one this is from Revlon it's just a super basic eyelash curler it's really nasty looking I need to clean it um, but it's just your average 
eyelash curler and then this one I picked up because I was at work and my one eye, the eyelashes began to droop. These were still curled so I ran across the street and I got myself, it's called an extreme eyelash curler. And you can see it's a little bit more curved up here and it gets more closer to your roots. So I like to use these together because it gives me the best curl I can ever get with my eyelashes that are so straight and short and frail. I'm going to just first go in with the Revlon eyelash curler. I have so many alfalfa hairs, goodness. So that's my eyelashes with just the normal eyelash curler. Now I'm going to go in with the extreme eyelash curler and you'll see the difference. And I have eyelashes, it's insane. This one is insane. I'm so happy. I love doing this. I, To me, my eyelashes are like the one essential for me because they just really open up my eyes, make me look more awake. Um, so that's why I'm so obsessed and I take a while to do my eyelashes. So I'm probably gonna do this off camera. It'll take me forever to do my mascara, but my mascara I'm using is from Maybelline, the Total Temptation Mascara. I love using this because it's extremely affordable and it also is such a dry formula. It just keeps my eyelashes nice and curled the entire day. All right, so I'm back. My eyelashes are all done. I'm going to take a little bit of my Becca highlighter. I already applied some in my inner corner, but I'm also gonna take some just grabbing it on my finger and I'm applying it right underneath my brow bone to give that some highlight right there. This I find is a lot easier with my Glow Luxor from Revive, but I'm too lazy to go upstairs. So the last step would be lips, and I am not a big lip product person. I normally just apply Vaseline for my chapstick and that's it. I have this lip gloss from Kaylee Cosmetics. It's in the shade Coconut Kiss. It's a beautiful nude peachy color and I really love this because it does give a tiny bit of color on the lips but nothing too extreme. And it's also such a thin, lightweight formula that it doesn't feel like a normal lip gloss. It doesn't feel thick which is exactly what I want when it's 98 degrees out here. I'm going to just apply this, and it's also, sm oh, I just got my nose. It smells amazing, it smells like coconut, so I really love this stuff. All right, guys, so that is the finished look. It's a very simple makeup look. It does not require many products. I am so obsessed with this blush and bronzing duo. I think it does wonders for my skin and also love how it's multi-purpose. I can use it as an eyeshadow as well. So I highly recommend this. This is just amazing. I think they're an awesome brand. I love like the beachy kind of, I hate the word vibe, the beachy atmosphere the brand has. I'm all for that. So I really love this brand. I think the packaging is very cute and beachy as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.